chosen vessels. What's the deal? It's your main man Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, Drew Nation, and the GCVs. Let's get right into it. They were dead wrong for how they treated you and are going to have to pay the price for their actions in full. Let's get right into it. They were dead wrong for how they treated you. They had calculated moves. They had calculated plots, schemes to try to ruin you. They didn't want to see you succeed in any form or fashion. They all wanted to be better than you. They all talked about it behind your back. They all knew what game they were going to play when it came to dealing with you. They all knew how they were going to be an operative force against your progression. They knew what they were up to. They knew what they were doing. They had it all calculated. They had it all planned out. They had it all put together. They took the time to figure out what they were going to do to you. They took the time amongst themselves, gathered themselves all up, had secret meetings you think they're all out having a good time? You think they're all out enjoying themselves? And you weren't even there. Why do you think that was? They had to figure out a plan of destruction for you. They didn't want to see you succeed in their eyes. They didn't want to see you be better than them in their eyes. They didn't want to see you become who you were put here to be. It made them scowl at you, made them look at you all types of ways, all those evil looks, all the fake actions, all the fake attitudes, all the fake times that they said this and they said that and it didn't mean anything. All the fakery, just being in your face, acting one way, pretending to be one way, but really holding back, really hiding how they really felt, really not letting you know what the deal was. But now you're able to see it as clear as day. Now you're able to tell. Now you know the difference. Now you know what's real and what's fake. Now you know what you will stand for and what you won't. What you won't put up with. What you won't deal with. And they're going to have to pay the price. They're not going to get away with that. There's going to be karma all around. You go to the bar, drinks on me, this one, that one, all around. Now it's karma on me, it's karma on you, and it's karma all around. They knew what they did. They knew what they were trying to do. They knew that stopping you was their main goal. Lowering your self-esteem was their main goal. Making you not go after your dreams were their main goal. Trying to make you less than what you were. Trying to make you a fraction of what you were. They didn't want to see you rise to the top. They didn't want to see you become anything. They didn't want to see you make anything of yourself got in the way any way they could. And for that, they're going to have to pay the price. They're not going to feel too good about themselves. 
they're not going to be happy with who they are. That guilt is about to start racking their brain. That guilt is about to start eating them alive. That guilt is about to make them start losing their mind. They're going to have bad day visions. They're going to have bad, bad, bad visions coming into their mind. They can't have a, a good outlook on life for what they did to you. There's no way they can have a positive mindset for what they did to you. They're not going to be able to be happy as a result of what they did. They're not going to feel good about themselves as a result of what they did. Not only are they going to start to feel terrible, but they're really going to start to have some less than better experiences. Karma is about to start putting a whooping on them. Life is about to start putting a whooping on them. Things that were once going right are going to start going wrong. They're not going to be able to enjoy themselves as much. They're not going to have as much peace. Everything they put you through, they're going to get. Everything they wanted to see you go through, they're going to experience. They wanted it for you. Now it's theirs. They wanted it to happen to you. Now it's going to happen to them. They wanted to use everything that they knew against you. Now it's going to be used to entrap them. They wanted to trap you. Now they're the ones ensnared. They're the ones that have fallen into the ditch. They're the ones that are going to have to dig themselves out of the pit they dug for you. They're going to have to pull themselves back out of the pit they dug for you. They wanted to see it happen to you. Well, guess what? Now it's going to happen to them. They wanted to destroy what you had planned for you. Now their plans for themselves are going to be destroyed. They wanted to stop you from doing what you thought you were going to be able to do. Now they're going to be stopped from doing what they were going to be able to do. That thing they had planned, that thing that they thought they were going to be able to do, they thought they were just going to be able to go off and live their life like nothing. They thought they were going to be able to go off and live their life carefree, scot-free, normal, peaceful, after they tried to destroy the peace of someone else. After they tried to make it harder for someone else. After they tried to make it difficult for someone else. Life's supposed to be hard. But when you have individuals to try to come in and block your blessing, now their blessing is going to be blocked. Now they're the ones who are going to have to find a way. They're the ones who are going to have to make it work. They're the ones that are going to have to uh, put this together and put that together and get this for, from over here and save a little bit of that and make sure they still got some of that left. They're the ones that are going to have to go through that. If I can't do it this week, I wonder why. You wanted that for me. You wanted that for someone else. You wanted that for them. Now you're going to be the one to experience those turmoils. You're going to be the one to experience those downfalls. They're going to be the ones to experience not enough. Make it enough. That's not enough. Make it enough. They're going to be the ones who have to make it enough. They're going to be the ones who have to scrape it all up together. They're going to be the ones who have to put it all together. Make it. They're going to have to be the ones to make it work. They're going to be the ones that have to have hope, that have to uh, 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 dig deep and, and, and pray that something turns out right. They're the ones that are going to have to go through everything that you went through. You had to go through some things because of them. You had some sleepless nights because of them. You had some doubtful days because of them. You had some worrisome afternoons because of them. You didn't know how things were going to turn out. And now they're going to suffer the same fate. 
they're going to be the ones who are going to face uncertainty. They're going to be the ones who have it hard. They're going to be the ones who have to figure it out. And they better hope that they can do that. They better hope that they'll be able to be able to do that. Because what they tried to cause for you, they didn't want you to come back from that. They better hope that they can come back from this. They didn't want you to come back from this. They didn't want you to make it out from this. They didn't want you to be able to rise above this. They wanted you to be ensnared. They wanted you to be done for. They wanted you to be miserable for life. Unhappy for life. No joy for life. They wanted your joy to leave you. Your peace to leave you. Your happiness to leave you. Your finances to leave you. They left you out for dead. They didn't want to see any good thing happen to you at all in your entire lifetime. They wanted to wipe that smile off your face. They wanted you to have no more good days. They wanted to turn your good days to bad days. Now they're going to be the ones that have some days that are unpleasant. They have some unpleasant times coming to them. Some difficult times coming to them. What you want for others is what you get for yourself. What you want to see happen to somebody else is going to happen to you. What they wanted to see happen to you is going to happen to them. What you wanted to see happen to me is going to happen to you. They wished bad on you. All you did was reverse it. They wished negative on you. All you did was reverse it. They wanted calamities to happen in your life. All you did was reverse it. Time to send the negative energy back to where it belongs. Time to send the dark black magic, the curses, the spells, the witchcraft, the voodoo back to where it belongs. Time to send the destruction back to where it belongs. The mental torment, the anguish back to where it belongs. The stress, the striving back to where it belongs. I mean straining back to where it belongs. Time to send it all back. They wanted you to stress and strain. Well, guess what? Now they're the ones that are going to be doing that. They took precious time from you that you will never get back. Now it's going to be some time that they'll never get back. They're going to have to go through life the way they wanted to see you go through life. They wanted nothing but struggles for you. Nothing but stress for you. Nothing but problems for you. And there's problems in life. But oh, they wanted you to have some problems. They wanted you to suffer. They played a sick, evil, twisted game with you. You having to figure things out. You having to, to, to put all your, all your things together. You having to put all your resources together. You having to figure out a way, having to make a way. At the last minute. They didn't give you any time. They didn't give you a chance. Drop the ball on you. Well, guess what? Now life is about finna drop the ball on them. Karma about to drop the ball on their head. And it's going to hit them where it hurts. They're going to be the one with the financial trouble. They're going to be the one with the life trouble. They're going to be the one with a life problem. Can't do people wrong who haven't done you wrong and have only done right by you. Well, you said this and you said that. Did you anger that person? Did you frustrate that person? Did you try to attack that person? Did you cause this person to feel some type of way? Did you take a peaceful person and turn them into a horrible, stressed, angry, upset, frustrated person? Did you do that? Because if you did, there's something coming for you. There's some negative coming for you. There's some there's some life coming for you. Life is life is about to knock on, off on, on your door, and it's not coming to drop off a package from Amazon. 
they thought they could get away with that. They really did. They thought they were going to go live their life carefree, problem-free, not a worry in the world. After all they did, life doesn't work that way. Good people understand that. They're not perfect. They may not even be good people. But the fact that they leave people alone, the fact that they don't bother others, the fact that they don't cause calamities for other people in their life, they don't target people out and say, let's go F with her. Let's go F with him. They may not be the best person. They don't have to be. But as long as they abide by that golden rule, do unto others as you want done unto you, they have less to worry about than those that don't. They said F that rule. That's one of God's finest rules. Do unto others as you want done unto you. That's one of the universe's most precious rules, most divine rules. And they broke it, shattered it, destroyed it, cared less about it, didn't want anything to do with righteousness, didn't want anything to do with its, its sacred divinity. Trashed it, destroyed it, threw dirt on it, and tried to throw dirt on you. Well, guess what? Life is about to sling all that stuff back onto them. Everything they tried to sling your way is going to be slung right back onto them. How they wanted to make you feel, they're the ones that are going to be dealing with that feeling. They wanted all the good things in your life to come to a screeching halt. They saw that you were a joyful person. They saw that you took delight in just being who you were. And they said, you know what? This person is too whatever they are. I got to change that. This person is, is too happy. This person is, is enjoying their life a little too much for my liking. I got I to gotta ruin that. I got to turn that upside down. I got to turn that topsy-turvy. I got to flip the script on them. I got to cause some harm in their life some type of way. I'm just I'm just itching to cause them to self-destruct. I'm just itching for them to, to have some negativity in their life. I'm just itching to, to do something bad to them. Cause some bad to happen to them. See something bad happen to them. Cause them some misery. Cause them some pain. All you wanted to do was move forward with your life. All you wanted to do was spread some love, some peace, some light. That's all you wanted to do. You just wanted to be who you were and let other people be who they are. You just wanted to be left alone and leave other people alone. You wanted to live and let live. They said to hell with that. They said forget that. They said screw that. They said F that. And that's the reason why life is about to feel that same way towards them. Life meets you like you meet life. There's always somebody, I mean, there's always some life that's going to meet you exactly how you're meeting it. Life is always going to bring the same energy to you that you put out into the world. The world's going to meet you back with that same energy. So you better keep that same energy because the world is bringing it back. That same energy you put out into the world is going to bring it right back to you and your world. You wanted, to, you wanted to destroy somebody's world. You wanted to put an end to somebody's world. Now you have to pay the price. You got to pay the price in full. They got to pay the price in full. I hope they have enough saved up. Because it seems like they wrote a check that they're not going to be able to cash. Not this time. They were given enough chances. The universe is done playing with these people. You were, the universe was done playing with them when you were done playing with them. You are connected to the universe. You gave them enough chances. I'll let it slide. Okay. All right. No, not anymore. 
sending that energy right back to you. Now I see you know what you're doing and you just don't care. You done tried to talk to them about it. You done stood up to them about it. And they think this is something that they're just going to be able to keep doing. They thought that they were just going to be able to keep getting away with that. They thought they were just going to be able to keep making you feel some type of way. Well, guess what? God and the universe don't play. They got theirs coming to them. They're going to face. They're going to feel. They're going to have to interact. They're going to have to deal with everything they tried to bring your way. They tried to send it over to you. They tried to make you taste it. They tried to make you deal with it. No, you taste it. Big old spoonful, big old heaping, helping. Big old plate. I can't eat anymore. No, you got to eat it all. Like that movie with Matilda, they made him eat that cake. They gonna have to. He gonna have to eat it all, and he ain't gonna be successful like young the young boy in the movie. He was successful. He ate the cake, put his hands up. Nah, not for you. They gonna have to keep you. They gonna keep your life. Gonna keep feeding you and keep feeding you and keep feeding you and keep feeding you. It's gonna be one of those types of situations because you ain't nothing to with. You ain't nothing to mess with. They were dealing with the wrong one. When it came to them trying you, they were dealing with the wrong one. Now they got to face it. Now they got to taste it. And the life that's about to come at them, they better hope they can embrace it. Because they failed the test. You passed with flying colors, them, not so much. Life's about to teach them a hard lesson. Life's about to teach them an extremely hard lesson. You don't bother other people for no reason. You don't do things to other people for no reason. You don't try other people who are peaceful. You don't do things to people who are peaceful. They're connected. They're divinely protected they have they have angelic beings watching over them in heavenly places writing down everything recording everything just like i'm recording on this phone there's angels up in heaven recording everything they might even have they might even doing it they might even be doing it off a phone it's just technology but they're gonna have to pay the price they better hope they have enough. What they did was uncalled for. It was wrong. It wasn't right. You've gotten over it. But just because you've gotten over it, just because you moved on, just because you're not letting it affect you, doesn't mean they're not going to have to pay the price. Doesn't mean they don't have what's coming to them. Because trust and believe me, they do. They have that coming to them and then some. They didn't learn their lesson. So now life is going to teach them a hard lesson. All the attempts to try to make them change, to try to wake them up, to try to stir up some common sense in them. They bypassed all of those. They laughed at life. They laughed at the fact that they were trying to cause some terrible things to happen to you. And now you're going to be the one getting the last laugh. Not that you want to see anything bad happen to anyone. Not that you want to see anybody not do well in life. But what you put out is what you get back. And there's no there's no way around that at all. There's no way around what you put out. That's why it's best to be the best person that you can be. That's why it's best to put out good positive energy into the universe. Because whatever you put out is going to come back to you whether it become a blessing to you or whether it become a curse to you. And little did they know, they done cursed themselves the long way. So now they're going to have to deal with that. And they only brought it upon themselves.
I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, and light. We out.